Hey everybody, it's Horizon here. We are going to be talking about some quick tips to help you out with uh, playing as Michelangelo. So we're going to start with his strengths and we'll move to his weaknesses to kind of give you an idea of how best to utilize him. Because uh, one of the things to first point out about Mikey is that he is probably the easiest to pick up and play, but he might be one of the hardest to master. And and by that is that a lot of people think that they can just hit the X button like all day and that's that's how you play as Mikey. The truth is is Mikey's got a lot of combos. Um, I mean they all have about the same number of combos but Mikey's are the longest and they take you know quite a bit to really develop when you're doing the combos. But let's real quick talk about his strengths. Uh, Mikey's probably the fastest, the quickest uh, amongst his uh, the four brothers. He uh, he can usually his, his best way to use him is to avoid being attacked by evading uh, although, however, his counter does seem to be the most responsive out of all the other ones. Um, he also has the quickest combo increase. And by that I mean that he lands the most hits the quickest out of all the other four. I mean, he, he can chain them together really great. He's also got a really st strong th third tier special attack. Uh, both of them are 360 degree attacks in nature. By that I mean that you know he'll go down on his shell, he'll put the nunchucks in his feet and do a 360 kind of area effect attack. Uh, it's really really effective, um, and both of those are really uh, you know, really strong a uh, assets of his. However, Mikey's Mikey does have quite a few weaknesses as well, and by weak, just straight out the gate, he is the weakest of the four. His attack or when he's hit, he takes a lot of damage, and if you're doing any challenge modes type stuff. While his combo count, he might be really great for racking up a high score, he has a hard time finishing off enemies. So like you'll be doing, most of your attacks aren't really doing a whole lot of damage. Meaning you're going to be fighting guys longer than you'd like. And what happens is, is that you're beating up on a guy, you're countering, your combo counter is going up, and you're taking guys out, but you're not doing it quick enough to actually progress in the challenge mode which just leads to an increased chance of you being attacked by an enemy and being taken out oh and if you're taken out if, if you're taken out before you can finish all of your attacks and do all your cool combos and you die you lose your score so Mikey might be the best for getting a high score but he's also the hardest at keeping a high score because if you die again like I said you lose it I mean you're done final thoughts on Mikey Mikey is a lot of fun to play as He's got some really cool taunts if you use them. Um, you have to kind of unlock it, but his taunt will allow you to do any attack that goes to the ground. You're going to do an attack as you get up, which is really cool. It just allows you to continue a combo. Um, however, it does have a tendency to sometimes leave you open for an attack. Um, I find Mikey is best when you're playing on the outer edge of guys to kind of stay on the edge. Don't let yourself really get surrounded with him because he is weak and attacks come from every single direction, you're going to want to really try to avoid that. So, that's it for, uh, from, uh, for Mikey. Uh, this has been Horizon. We'll talk to you guys next time.